peoples of the internet, welcome to um, my first video in a long time, um, my first Minecraft Redstone video on Mr. Aladog, I mean Mr. Vance Dog, what I'm thinking. Um, thinking. Um, I've done a bit of work to start this, and um, first I thought I'd tell you about the project. In um, maths at school, I'm making, uh, I need to turn my video settings down, um, I'm making a um, thing, we, well, we're, we're doing coordinate geom geometry, which is like when you've got a... Um, a graph and you like do lines on it and you talk about the um you know x and y coordinates and stuff so basically I'm making a giant one of those in Minecraft um and you'll be able to enter your formula in such as y equals um 2x plus 7 it follows the formula y equals mx plus b um which is the gradient like the slope the angle it's at and um how high up or down it is which is the b um I need to still change these <laughs> settings. Um, so, what I've got here is a giant grid, and basically, um, you're going to input for the first um, kind of stage. We'll be working and making it more complex. You'll just draw a line across and a line downwards, and um, all of those lights will be on. But then, to make it even more complex, only one of those lights will be on. So, instead of having a big cross, you'll just have one little dot. And that's what I've been working on. So this is actually, I'll just run you through what I've got here. This is um, 14 by 14 torches. It's going to be going, it goes positive from 0 here to positive 7 on the x coordinate and from 0 to positive 7 on the y coordinate. Um, so there's a total of 14 by 14. I can't be bothered to do how many squares there are. But this is the back. And basically, um, the block which I've got my mouse over now is um, the block with the torch on it, so you can see that torch is off, and then I've just got a bit of sandstone here so I can wire stuff into it. Um, now how it's going to work is when you say, there'll be like a, a lever at one end here, when you activate that, all of the torches along this line will be activated, or turned off, and you have another one, say here, and if you activate that, all of these ones will turn off, and then um, well, they won't actually turn off because the logic is faster than that. And right here, this is the one block which meets those two points. And so, um, I'll, this one will be the only one which is activated. And the real simple way to do that is AND gates. So you have to have both the Y and the X um, lines being together. Like this one has to be activated and the sideways one at the same time. And that's an AND gate. Um, I've designed an AND gate here myself, based on the the very normal one, um, which will be able to be put next to each other. Of course, I can't make them this small, um, like so that I can just put them in. Um, I'll just have to like bring this out, explode it outwards um, by bending the outward outside out and the top up and stuff. Um, but this one can stack next to each other and on top of each other, and it will make a. Um, they'll all just connect. So at the, this um, this will be a long tower of torches which just go up, and if you power them down the bottom, they all turn, they all toggle. And this one will have a whole lot of these which connect together. The problem with this is there's a three tick delay, and um, I can change that. I forget a ton of lag. I can change that. I think I think that should work. I see no reason for it not to. That that should um work. So that, that'll be two ticks of delay. Uh, because these ones are next to those and I'd rather not touch them. Yeah, it's fine. It's only two ticks, but that will be quite large when you get to the other end. Because that'll be 14 ticks. What I could do, however, is if I power it at this end, I could, like, if I put the signal here, it could go to about halfway and that would be, like, um, 10 ticks of delay. But then I could also send, like, an express line which goes around to halfway and that would have like one tick of delay to get all the, all the way to the middle. Or I could use Shrog 2's new design for the instant um, repeater thing, which is epic. Um, I need to learn it off by heart. It's something really cool. It's like this or something. I don't know. Pistons. That is like the biggest breakthrough we've had in like a year of um, redstone. I don't know. Yeah, so that'll go... Um, I might do that. I don't think I need to though. I don't really mind having the ticks of delay. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go off into MC Edit and I'm going to build a giant thing of these. Gosh, I hope I have enough room for the sky. 
I may not. I might have to build it, um, bring this whole thing underground or something. Because this is like one, two, three, four blocks high. And if I need one for each of these, it's going to be four times the height. And this is hardly even two times the height. Her. I might go on the internet and download, um, because this map, let's see, I might, will it even fit? I'll have to do some calculations off this camera. With the current map height, um, I know I've talked about this, which is y2, up here, and 14 times 4 is something which I will now think about instead of just looking for my calculator. Or I will just go like this, and because my maths is terrible, and I will go 14 times 4, and it is 56. So you can fit in this map, in a map, that is, and from the ground to here, Okay, hang on. Like 65, mate. Yeah, it won't fit unless I take it down underground. So anyway, I'll do some, I'll probably just copy all of this stuff into a new map. But when I come back, I should have a ton of these built next to each other, and then I'll wire them in, and then we can move on from there. So, um, actually I'll leave that for this video, and I'll, I'll come back later. Um, so I'll see you guys next time. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, all of that stuff. Farewell.